Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. Thank you for all the subscriptions. Again, if you have not subscribed yet and you like the content of the channel, please subscribe. Also press the like button, it helps with the algorithm. Um, yeah, today I want to talk a little bit about snake engine striking. What I teach in the IWK as snake engine striking, which is very unique. And according to my research, the ancestors of Wing Chun Kun are actually Fujian White Crane and Ermei Suzhuang. And we also talk about, uh, always about snake body crane limbs, meaning the shapes of the system are the crane and the engine is the snake. Now, this goes very deep and very far. Actually, I have nine key points of what makes snake engine striking differ, what makes it different than conventional Western boxing striking. Today, I will give you three important points of the nine. In some lineages, for example, Fujian White Crane, and let me also specify some lineages of Fujian White Crane, the concept of detachment is key and is still there. Like for example, in Sabji Jidlik, in the original Fujian White Crane system, it's very, it's very important. Now, in some lineages, it's not there at all. Yeah? Now, it can be lost in history or not, doesn't matter. Important is that it's a very important uh, technology or very important piece of Chinese martial art and that I think should be there in your toolbox, okay? Now, the concept of detachment is what makes the snake engine striking unique. And it's also directly the link with Chan Buddhism, okay? Now, the first thing you have to be detached from is all unnecessary tension. Now, many people think, right, when they feel tension, they feel power in their own body, that their strike is going to be powerful. But actually, it's like hitting the gas in the car and putting the handbrake on, right? It's not like that. It doesn't matter that you feel the power in the body. When you feel the power in the body, it means it stays stuck in your body. Martial arts is about releasing the power, transferring the power. So it's not important how much power I can accumulate if I cannot transfer that power into the opponent. So the first thing we need to do and need to be able is be detached from all unnecessary tension being sung. Okay? Now, in my online academy, I go much, much deeper in the concept of song because there are also uh, many different layers of song, okay? There's, this is not just freeing yourself of all unnecessary tension. The second thing you need to be detached from is the linking of breath. Doesn't mean we don't use it sometimes when possible. Because of course, I know when you breathe out and you strike, like many do, like the striking going to be more powerful. Also in Tai Chi Chuan, you have the concept of Heng Ha. And it's not really the same as breathing out because the breath, of, because the sound is generated from the internals by itself. But it's the concept of breathing out while releasing is there, like in many other uh, martial arts. But what if the situation obstructs your breath, that doesn't uh, allow you to breathe out when you strike? Then it's an all water ball game, right? If I'm just trained in breathing out while striking, now all of a sudden I'm facing somebody, fighting, a friend comes, chokes me from behind, cuts off my breath. And my whole essence, my whole uh, motor system, right, is trained to strike while breathing out. All of a sudden I'm locked up, uh, uh, cannot breathe, cannot strike. So we have to learn 
to detach ourselves from that, right? So in Wing Chun, right, for example, we strike and we, can, we, we talk. We, we still hold the conversation while striking. Or I let students even hold their breath. For example, they hold their breath doing a chan sao or whatever, they can still strike. So yes, we can link our breathing, but we can also be detached from it. The detachment is always up there as the most important concept. So detach yourself from all necessary tension. Second, detach yourselves from the breathing. Then the third is detach yourself from a rigid linking of body parts. Now again, same as with the breathing. With the rigid linking of body part, there is instances where I connect and link up all my frame to release fudging, to release power. But at the same time, I'm able to detach from it. So you always need the yin yang. You always need two sides of the coin, right? It's, it's very important. For example, yeah, let me take a, a, a conventional martial art, a Western boxer as an example, right? They are great in linking up all the body parts. They take the power from the floor through their frame and using all the joints, the hip, the waist, and putting all their power into the punch, which is great, especially in the ring, right? It's great. But if I only train like that, borrowing the power from the floor, if I only do that, what happens if I sprain my ankle? Or worse, that same friend that I used earlier as an example is coming and hits my leg with a baseball bat, smashing my knee, and all of a sudden, I cannot use my leg anymore. That should not interfere with my striking. I should still be able to strike. So using the snake engine methodology of the detachment, we can still strike. Because I don't need the floor. Another example is, what if I'm sitting down? I'm sitting in a restaurant on a chair, we get into fight. I must still, when I'm sitting down, be able to release power. If I'm on one leg, I must still be able to release power. You know, it, it, it doesn't matter sitting down, lying down from any position and any distance. I need to be able to be release maximum uh, energy, okay? Now, I will uh, give a few short examples here with Sifu Peter, but these are the first three key points. And in every one of these key points, I could go a lot deeper and of course, you can find that in my online academy. So, concept of detachment, pure Chan Buddhism, detachment of all unnecessary tension, the detachment of the breathing, and the detachment of the rigid linking of body parts. Okay? Let's get Sibu Peter up here and show you. So, the key point here is the connection with the Chan Buddhism, the concept of detachment. Now, with the third point, the detachment of the rigid linking of the body parts, we also have the heaven-human-earth theory, which is very important. The heaven-human-earth theory also stands for time, space, and energy. Now, what I mean by that is that at any time we need to be able to punch. That's what I said, right? No matter sitting down, no matter maybe standing on a hill where, or, or somewhere where the train is uneven, very different than in the gym. And if I always trained having the perfect uh, flat ground and all of a sudden I stand like that and I come into a fighting situation, things can get you into trouble, right, if you're not used to that. So any time, any space, the same release of energy must be possible. Now I will demonstrate just the portion of space here. So it means 
if you ask a regular uh, boxer, right, to throw his punch, if he punches, he can release a lot of energy, but he needs that space. If you come close like this, he already feels like clinching, right? Like, like, like hugging on, holding on, like uh, Roy Jones Jr. did against Mike Tyson, right? In his latest fight. So, but I want you to now imagine this scenario. I'm some woman, right? And Peter's this big guy. Can you lift me? By Alex? Okay. And I try to hit, of course, no power, nothing there, right? But then somebody comes by and gives the small lady a hammer in the hand. What she does with his skull. So I'm mid-air, splash open the whole skull, right? All of a sudden, a lot of power can be released. Now, Bruce Lee already said it, right? Iron chain with an iron ball. It's like a wrecking ball. That's how the punch should be performed with the snake engine striking that the space does not matter as much anymore or even doesn't matter at all. Yeah, give me an example. Huh? So just don't strike hard, but just tell them if it's the same release of energy, right? So if I stand here, right? Now, and I throw, I come closer, I come closer, I come closer, I come closer, I come closer. Is it the same release of energy? Same release. Sorry about that. Yeah. But didn't do it hard, but he feels a very different strike than when is the rigid linking of the body parts. A lot, it's a lot of release of energy. It's exactly like the hammer. So no matter the time, the space, same energy can be uh, delivered. So now having said that, there's always two sides of the coin, right? Yin yang balance. To only have one is not good. So yes, we have the ability to link up the whole frame. And in some situations, that is a must. And we have to, okay? So uh, for example, if I have very close body contact and no space at all, meaning my punch already stuck to his body, now, of course, regular boxing engine here doesn't work, but also the throwing engine here of the snake uh, engine, the, the throwing technique of the snake engine doesn't work here. Now we have to connect all the, fr the frame, sync, mobilize, and release the ging. Okay, so here, uh, I'm not gonna do so hard, here, it will be something like this. Now, connect the whole frame and inject, okay? Yes. So, a lot to learn about striking, and it's a little bit different than a lot of people think that think, oh, striking is just a very simplistic topic, yeah? And then I haven't talked yet about how to do it in free type scenario, yeah, in, in sparring situation, because that changes the, the, the whole setup. Applying this kind of things while in free movement is of course the ultimate goal and key. Okay, that's key point. So we have the detachment of all the necessary tension, which is necessary, the first point, in order to get the third point right. Otherwise, this, what I just demonstrated, will just not be possible. We have the second point, the detachment of the breath. Then we have the third point, the detachment of the rigid linking of, of the body parts. Yeah? Like I said before, Fujian White Crane is especially uh, skillful in, in this system. And there are some more systems that use that. Uh, Tongbei is another. Uh, primary example. Now, there are more points. In my snake engine striking curriculum in the IWK, I teach nine points. So these were three points, and not even all the details about the three points, but this is a short video. But if you want to learn more, join, like the hundreds of others, join 
the Experience Internal Wing Chun Online Academy and I'm teaching it all there, okay? Stay safe and healthy in this epidemic and see you guys and girls next week. Thanks. The third road of the ancient Silent Tao today. From the Yongchun point home. But you have to perform it like a whip to get used to absorbing the force. When I pull him, is different than the muscular force. Same sticking, the same sticking. Nullify the force. One, two, three. And I'm there. It can be very quick, you know. <coughs> it is completely, completely relaxed. And then it's very heavy.